Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here, and today we're gonna to do a roster review, so let's jump into it. All right, so our roster review today is with I Don't Well, with Peace Is A Lie. 7.5 million GP, 4.2 in characters, 3.3 in ships. A little over two years time played. So three GLs, R9C. I don't, I don't understand this one personally. The like the mods are fine. You want over 200k health. Speed's a little low, but uh, what you know, what what more can you ask? I will say that like these three probably could be improved over time, but you know that is what it is. Uh, I will say this, I, I think uh, definitely overspending on the C, but you know, I, I would say in the future, like out of all the GLs that I would R9, he wouldn't be the last, he definitely wouldn't be the first, maybe bottom two, maybe JMK would be my last and then C would be my second last, I don't know, probably. All right, so let's see what else you have in your account. You have SOKR, Ray, you're missing one Zeta on Ray. I would say you should probably get that up and running as soon as you can. Uh, Bane at R5. I, I personally, like personally, I like R7 minimum on Bane. Uh, okay mods, like your, your, your speeds are a little lackluster on from what I've seen, but that doesn't mean they're bad overall. It's just... I get it, you need health primaries at six dots, and it looks like you're you're pushing, you're just chasing those primaries to hit what you need, and they're not hitting the minimum of what I would say is necessary for six dot modding. But I think 100% it's because you're chasing primaries, especially for someone like Darth Bane, where he's probably with that level of speed just fine, um, but you really do need the health percentage. So I understand it. The good thing about health primaries with health sets is you could always find a home form. There's Old Daka, Grievous, C, Bane, um, Barris. Like Barris and Daka don't need all the speed in the world. So, you know, Wampa, like all, all those characters can use those mods and they'll never go to waste. So even though they're, you know, the luster is lacking on them, uh, they'll always have a home. So not, not the worst mods to create overall. Uh, some of the investments I do like, I like that you have a Zori Bliss. I like that you have a Marin. I think you're, for the most part, your relics are fine. Uh, some weird things here is because it looks like a lot of things you're like, hey, R5 is perfectly fine. And then you go over investment for things like Dark Trooper, C, like, R5 is fine for Dark Trooper, R7 at most. R8 is definitely too expensive. Like it you don't even have all six dot mods here. I, I don't I don't really understand this personally. Why you would uh if if you're going to go like all in, I'm I'm sure he's fine, right? Like his I'm sure his damage is like 10,000 damage. Yeah, that's fine. Uh so but you know, like six six dot mods. Yes. I am, I am interested. Got me a little interested in, in this. All right, so let's look at the speeds for this. So uh, speeds need to be 1.25, or you needed a 344, so you would need, that's, that's pretty good, 282, 268. All right, so 262. All right, so... This is how you do the speeds form. So let me uh, get out my handy dandy the calculator. All right, so 344, you divide that by 1.2 and then 286. So actually, actually, your speeds are not enough. There's the, there's a window here. There's a tiny window where your opponent can can in. And let's say you're like, oh, I'm going to mirror. Let's say someone threw Imperial Troopers down, right? 
and you're like, hey, my Piet is one speed faster. They have a 343, I have a 344. I'm about to clap these Imperial Trooper cheeks with this mirror. And you go, and then you take your first turn, right? You use Imperial Ambition on that R8 Dark Trooper. Getting him nice and ready, nice and le juicy. You're going to juice him up, right? So you can get all those fatty R8 Dark Trooper punch assists. So you linked up your Dark Trooper. All of a sudden, the game just starts moving without you. And you're like, what? There, Piet starts making moves. And then they start taking turn after turn after turn and you lose. And you're like, what happened? Why, what is this wizardry? Why did I lose this match where I had the faster Piet? I don't understand. I don't know. I'm a post on Reddit about how this game sucks and is broken. Um, but what really happened is uh, you don't have your speeds right, dude. You don't have your speeds right. So what I did, because in threes, in threes, and because sometimes you may not even be using your, your Gideon here with these guys. So if you use like this guy, 268. So anyone here, so two minus 268. So 18.6 speed, right? So let's see. So 18.6, let's just say 18. So 344 minus 18. So 326. So if anyone was 326 speed or higher, then they would take a turn before in between your Piet and your Stark. Um, same thing with the, the Dark Trooper. So in threes, you don't even have, so 362. So it's minus another four. So 322, 322 speed, and they would act in between your Piet and your Dark Trooper. Because in threes, you could have... Imp uh, you have Veers, you have Veers, Piet, Dark Trooper. And then in fives, if you have Stark, then you have this huge gap. So if you're wondering why sometimes your Imperial Troopers aren't working, it's because your speeds aren't right. And the way that you do it is that you take your top speed, again, like I, I told you, you take your top speed Imperial Trooper, so 344, you divide it by 1.2. And then 286.6. So I would go 287 is the speed that your fastest, second fastest should be minimum. And then you divide that by 1.2 again. And then it's 238. So after that, it's negligible. But your second fastest speed on your Imperial Troopers is just as, import just as important as your first fastest Imperial Trooper. And there's times where your imperial troopers probably fail you and it's because of this gap that you have here because i see that you have piet stark dark trooper range veers like you may take gideon and put him somewhere else and then you're you have this like huge gap and then in threes you don't have gideon on the team you only have piet dark trooper veers and that's why for my imperial troopers my dark trooper is like 290 something so my Piet is like in the 340 somethings and then my Dark Trooper is in the 290 something and my Dark Trooper is my second fastest Imperial Trooper and he bridges the gap between my second and third one because the third one is pretty much negligible like they any amount of speed will make up that and then fourth and fifth etc it doesn't matter. Um, because then you're start, starting to go into that bonus turn meter and then you just run that train to Victoryville. So what I'm saying is what you can do to fix this and what I did to fix this was I took Dark Trooper and I took him and I gave him more speed. So there's a lot of work here that you can do on your, like even this, this has tons of potential. Uh, oh man, this is a, this is a wonderful, wonderful mod. Honestly, I would probably take this, believe it or not, I would probably take this to 6A because there's no waste here. Absolutely no waste. Like uh, on Dark Trooper, is this like the best mod for him because he can't crit? Probably not. Um, but I would 100% just take this to 6A. Uh, it's not the highest potential as far as speed. You'll probably hit like 
22 23 speed if you hit that final one maybe 21 but you hit like flat offense offense percent crit chance with speed um like that's this is a, a potentially a very good mod so you can work this one get some some more potential there this is crap mm, not that good this has potential you have potential uh but it doesn't have offense percent which really sucks so I like I just as a speed mod you can use this and work this up but it doesn't have that offense percent which isn't great and then this isn't good and then you can uh you could find a better one for here. So all in all get him up to uh like 290s if you can and or like 287 and then that will be your bridge between all your imperial troopers he will always be in there with piet because they're the core um, and then that'll make your imperial troopers work 100 percent as long as you have the faster speed and then you could even add in watt as the fifth if you need to and then you can bump up that speed another 20 percent for where it is so you know that's something something you can do just something uh let's see calculator so 344 times 1.2 412 speed so that's uh you can bump up your imperial troopers to 412 speed it only works if you uh you add in uh if you have the zeta on what you hit a basic it gives everyone two buffs before anyone gets any turn meter uh, because it's bonus uh, he gets that bonus turn and then that it makes them act at 412 but again it won't work unless you have your speeds dialed in because and that's how you beat teams like uh like star killer with imperial troopers or you can get ahead of some of these like really fast teams and and win so sometimes you don't need that fifth you don't need that um you don't need that gideon or that uh, stark you can go with watt hit that basic, start the turn meter train. Watt won't break it because your Imperial Troopers are gonna take bonus turns and they're, they're just never gonna stop. So something to think about as far as uh, what you're gonna do here. So it's up to you if you want to, I, you know, do, do whatever you want if that's what you're looking at, but 100% I would at least get the, your Imperial Troopers right for that. All right, so let's let's jump into the rest of this. So I, I did a little side tangent with the Imperial Trooper speeds. So yeah, let, let's look at your speeds overall in your mod since we're already doing since we're already in Modville. Let's take a quick quick stop and see what uh what your account is all about. So good amount of health here, almost 140,000. 579 speed my goal is 580 so good job there you have a crit damage triangle and over 10k damage on so your your SOKR is a really good like I really like these mods excellent job with these so excellent mods overall on your SOKR over 200k health on Ray uh, decent speed over 10k damage so totally fine on this you have what I like the health percentage with uh, like this isn't great honestly like something like this you can replace i don't know what you would do with this mod overall but like crit chance does nothing you want over like you want above five percent offense and 20 speed but overall like like this like this is ideal what you're looking for like of course you would have <laughs> you know you hate to see it um ideally you would you'd want this defense gone and over here into this offense but what are you going to do uh, if you can calibrate it if you haven't used your your two calibrations i would calibrate that but um this is okay like i, I wouldn't be in a huge rush to replace it it sucks that you didn't hit any speed here and I don't, I don't think I like, but the offense is good. Flat offense with offense percent. Honestly, I, I probably would try to find a better mod if you did find one. Um, and then give this to a character who doesn't need speed as much. But overall, it's okay. Um, yeah, see, a lot of these just aren't, like, this is okay. So overall, like, good mods, really good mods on Ray. Yeah, like, you, you don't have to replace these. It's just... If you find a better one overall, then yeah, absolutely. But you can have those mods for forever and I'm, I'm sure it would be just fine. 
All right, let's look at your Mara Jade, 357, your fastest character. So that's lightning fast. Your next speed is 344 on Piet, which is good. Your armor, you got a, a fast armor. Do you have, also have a fast Thrawn? That's like a, what's the speed on this? 300, yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine, because you can use armor uh, Thrawn. Like, uh, C will go, armor takes the turn, gets the third stack. Thrawn gives armor the turn back. There's enough of a bridge. I think it. it's like, what, you need 30, minus 31 speed if you're using SOKR and minus 21 if you're using C. Yeah, so, so not bad overall. Like, good, good speed differentials i guess so that you can use these for both i guess you could if you wanted to get up thrawn speed a little to get him to bridge this gap a little more just to lessen the rng if you wanted to uh you can take him up to what is it 312 and still be absolutely usable for both of those teams um if you don't want to it's just 12 speed it's not that big of a deal um, for it, so I, I would be completely fine if you just, you know, kept it how it is. But good speed there, overall. Like, the speeds on your characters are decent. 324. Yeah, so fast characters. I like that you have a faster first order officer than you do Hux. I, I think the, the gap here is quite substantial though 263 i would get hux a little faster than this uh 311 so because you want you want that poke swipe swipe um so like i would i i only have my first order officer like three or four speed faster than than my hux so i would try to bridge that gap if you can um you know any mods that you put on them i, I understand you have like all six dot mods they're pretty probably pretty lackluster just pilot mods so yeah like these aren't aren't super good mods um you can put those on another character as you like build better mods and then just get them a little faster to bridge this gap because right now SOKR is probably a very big part of your roster and you want him to to be able to do that poke swipe swipe um with his uh with his his Datacron currently, if you can get that poke swipe swipe, I kill Jabba before like, well, Jabba and Bush usually take a turn because Bush is really fast and my opponents are all cracked out whales. But uh, when I go poke swipe swipe with uh, Jabba or SOKR against Jabba with uh, with his Datacron, like the whole team dies, like literally just instant death, including Jabba. So it's I think it's worth bumping it up. I'm sure it's fine how it is. Um, but I would, I would invest a little more into that personally. Decent mods on, I, I do like, oh, you do have an offense one here. Excellent crit damage offense. So excellent mods over here. So overall, like good mods, um, for especially like over two years time played. So decent mods for a growing account, uh, solid solid all right let's see generally what i would do for the farming pathway here but overall i i like your your mods i like what you're doing i would i would fix those imperial troopers but other than that like solid solid account all right so oh you didn't buy the five or the 20 dollar bundle uh, i would i would have said that was a good i don't know if it's still out or if it is but i don't know like it's easy, easy, easy win for your raid currency. I don't know what you have. Like, do you have Gungans or anything? You're just planning to to raw dog the... Nope. And then you don't have Jedi here. Separatists. Okay, so maybe you're hoping to carry with, like, Separatists and your Sith? You have like Darth Maul here somewhere. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Not, yeah, so maybe you're hoping. I, I'm sure you'll get some participation with like Separatist, Sith, and then your Galactic Republic Jedi isn't very good. 
Um, I, I I don't know. I, I probably honestly like I I bought the bundle and I had a relic Qui Gon, so I thought it was worth it just for the raid participation. I think the healers are going to be pretty good. So getting just a few more relic characters, I don't I don't know how much participation it's going to give me, but hopefully better than nothing, you know. So I'm I'm still hoping to hit at least the um. I don't know what box it was, like 130k, I think it is, box for my guild. So I, I'm expecting at least like what 2.5% or 200, 2.5 million GP participation for everyone. So I'm still trying to, to do that. And I think, you know, having these Jedi may be the difference of like getting closer to that. I do plan on investing in uh, Master Qui Gon and Padawan Obi Wan. So, and then the Gungans sooner or later. So, in like three, four months, my participation will be better. But I, I'm not like a whale account, so I'm not. And obviously, you aren't either. So, um, you know, I would say it's not bad. Like helps towards JMK. But if if you felt it wasn't worthy of your of your monies, you don't you don't whale. So, um, well, you, you buy Lightspeed bundles, dude. So. I, you really should change your name to, uh, yeah, I guess it's not whaling, right? You're not saying, you're, you're, yeah, that's, that's appropriate. I don't whale. Uh, Lightspeed Bundles isn't whaling, so, yeah, sure. All right, so, what would I do with this account? What would I do overall? Let's look at your ships, too, and then we'll, we'll see what you have. So, you have a seven-star executor. Blackluster Negotiator, Lackluster Malevolence, Six Star Finalizer. Um, I think your Empire is probably good. Yeah, and a good Empire. As far as you have, at, you have at least the Executor counter, and then if you're lucky, maybe you can two shot a Leviathan. But overall, your for two years, I would say your your fleets are not not super great but at least they're decent decent i would uh, at at three gls i think your next goal pro like overall i would say your next goal it should probably be like java into another go another gl level ship would probably be the best thing you can do for your account while weaving in once you have it available these uh these jedi master Qui-Gon and and where is he at? Pad one Obi Wan. I guess I'm, I'm I have a feeling you're probably gonna go for 501st, and I, that saddens me. I I don't think right now like the 501st is really game changing for your account, and it looks like you're really gearing up to go hard on them. Like it, once you probably have seven star gas, you're probably gonna go all in on these dudes. And I would say like there's a lot better things you can do for your account rather than gas and like don't get me wrong gas is gas is good he can maybe sometimes he can beat malgus's sometimes he can beat he can beat like you know night sisters if you get the right data crons he can beat some gls but that team is just like so incredibly expensive that you pretty much could have like a gl by the time you like fully invested in him and if that's what you want to do then then go for gas i'm not going to stop you i'm just saying like overall is that the best thing you can do for your account right now? Probably not, like to be completely honest. Um, let's see, go your unaligned force users. So you don't have cat. It looks it looks like you're kind of moving towards JMK. Maybe a little. I see some I see some waves of JMK-ish like farming here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate a JMK. You do have Jedi Knight, Luke Skywalker. Check out your Rebels. See if you're going for that. All right. So. All right. So I, I would say this. Like you have Jedi Knight, Luke uh, Skywalker. You could probably go Jabba into. Oh, let's look at your Hot Cartel real quick. Are you even ready? Are you ready? Not at all. All right, you have you have Bush. Maybe you're planning on going Leia. I don't know. I don't know. So I I wouldn't advise Leia right off the bat. I would say this: 
you could probably go like JML into Jabba while you're finishing JML farm and the Obi-Wan and Master Qui-Gon become farmable, start farming those and then go from JML into Jabba and into like maybe the profundity if another seven star or if another um if another ship gets released like gl level ship you should probably fit that into your farming pathway but if for some reason they don't include one right now and they just like bring in a lifter for an older ship i would say i would farming pathway i would probably go jml into java into the profundity and then that'll give you two gl ships that'll give you the smugglers run two and then in between those let's look at your assault battles did you have i think you had inquisitor i saw i saw a relic inquisitors yeah second sister this is uh so i would say i wouldn't go all in on the inquisitors until you have four gls two gl ships so i probably would still prioritize like jml into java into profundity i wouldn't i would just kind of like sleep on gas personally I, I don't think he's as valuable as JML, Jabba, Profundity, or any other, um, honestly, many other things. Like, J, uh, Profundity gives you Rogue One. Rogue One has been super useful with getting rad or with Radis even on the ground, with beating uh, DTMG or Aiden, uh, you know, some uh, Inquisitors without Reva. Like, it's a, it's a really good team overall, especially for Empire. I can use it in Conquest. So it's on the ground. It's a useful team. I did invest into an R3, um, what do you call them? The, the droid, uh, K2SO. So I did invest R3 into K2SO, but I felt like this farm was a hundred percent worth it. I, in between like job, uh, JML and Jabba, like once you have, uh, Qui-Gon and Master uh, or Pad One Obi Master Qui-Gon and Pad One Obi One. I would take them up to at least R seven just for their assault battle rewards. Continue. Uh, it looks like you are prioritizing assault battles with your normal battles, and that's excellent. It looks like you have up most of them at R three, except for um, probably like based on what you have. I would say you probably don't have or you don't have Inquisitors right now. And that and uh, the Qui-Gon one, um, the new one, the Duel of Fates. So I would say like continue working those uh, Inquisitors once you're you have JML Java Profundity, then go into Inquisitors and then master the Duel of Fates. You should fit in in between your big farms once you have them at seven stars. I probably would double farm them uh, personally there so that you get the shards within like two and a half ish months based on the how much and how much you have invested in them right now um but I'm, i am seeing like leia like leia leia gas i'm seeing kind of like this in your account i would say personally i i wouldn't go for them the best return of investment right now would probably be JML Java because JML is going to give you some excellent conquests. Like right now, there's a lot of feats that can be cheesed with light side characters, and you just need the um, you need JML to cheese all them. So he's great. He's amazing in conquests, like an absolute goat. Um, and then Jabba is going to give you Smuggler's Run Two, which is going to help you with your mods. Same thing as the Duel of Fates. It's going to give you credits. For, so you can buy mods and then it's going to give you some other slicing materials as well um, and some extra crystals so all these farms that i'm telling you are just better overall for your investment and then once you have um once you have profundity it's a great fleet it doesn't require you don't have to whale on it you can slowly build it up it just i would get it up to like five stars as fast as you can and after that it has like 90 percent functionality it won't be able to take out leviathans but it's going to be able to do anything else you need for it i take it on offense and take out seven star um executors and profundities very reliably other other than that um like if you wanted to fit in jmk sometime like jmk return of investment isn't great he was a passion project for me he also 
elevated my negotiator and malevolence farm you're in a place where in kyber it's like really difficult if you don't have that jmk level investment into negotiator and malevolence because everyone else does and even the the negotiator against malevol malevolence and malevolence against negotiator or malevolence against chimera or um or uh, other things it starts getting real dicey because you don't have the speeds that most characters do or should on their fleets um so you know i i don't hate the idea of getting jmk sometime and i i know it's like far out and it's hard to like prioritize all these things but i would say like i would even go jmk before leia because jmk is an excellent gl overall it elevates two fleets it gives you a whole bunch of other jedi um that will pair well with like uh splitting your your farms between like kellerin beck qui-gon jinn uh jml jmk um like there's there you need all these jedi and jmk is going to elevate that it gives you like an insane team on the ground and then gives you uh elevates those malevolence and negotiator fleets so that they perform at the level that you need and i think you need some depth in your fleets not just height as well so overall i would say jml Fin like fit your assault battles in between your farms wherever you can don't prioritize inquisitors until you have those four gls i would say job and the two gl ships so i would say uh overall like big farms though um jml java jmk believe it or not and then leia probably after that is what i would do and then i would fit in those um those other farms in between like uh the inquisitors and the jenna knight calcestis maybe um if you have the shards and then also like inquisitors before that so so the qui-gon uh, obi-wan inquisitors fit in between those big farms and then once you have like profundity uh you can go somewhere it like inquisitors after that or you can go jedi knight calcestis it's up to you both is good both give you a return of investment if you can get zepho um and overall like it, you're you're sitting pretty well um with marin and stuff so you you may be closer to that and then once you have JML, like it's it's overall like a good farming pathway. And then at the end of uh, once you finish those, like JMK, I did farm JMK before Jedi Knight Calcestis because I just don't have I didn't have the shards for um, Jedi Knight Calcestis, and I just it's my passion project, so I wanted to knock it out as soon as possible. So, uh, but it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Other than that, like uh, that's that's the advice I have for you. This went kind of longer than I was expecting, but. Uh, you you have a good account you have a lot of potential here that you have a lot of ways to go and you're you're at an exciting point of the game where you're starting to like accelerate past all these farms and you know you're starting to really become a contender here so you know i think that's probably why i um you know was able to go more in depth on this one so overall like excellent account thanks for letting me look at it if you have any questions hit me up uh if you guys if you guys have any other comments let me know in the comments of what you would do with this account uh, and then I'll see you all next time. Take care.